there's an estimate of 1.3 uh, Somali people within Somalia that are internally displaced that is from uh, fleeing uh, maybe uh, clan and ca- caste disputes or seeking asylum, seeking refuge, trying to find a better place. And on top of that, there's nearly a million Somalian people that have taken asylum in neighboring countries. That's not good if you haven't got a good history with your neighboring countries, such as Ethiopia. Um, but in spite of these uh, you know, poor standards of living, as we all know, intervention is not going to affect any... Uh, well, it's going to affect a lot, but it's not going to help them. It's not going to... It's not going to do anything good for them. You know, it's funny, you know, so many times on our television we've seen adverts, we've seen, you know, the sympathy campaigns of Africa and Somalia. You see the children and, you know, the, uh, you can see their rib cages, how skinny they are. And now, you know, they're going to go ahead and sanction them and give them democracy. If they say that, that means they're going to bomb you. That's, that's all there is to it. I mean, historically, we know that Libya, Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq, sorry, and of course, Iran's getting trouble in the trouble now with the you know eu oil embargo so the, the oil is still going to get stolen in anyway and um you know it's historically that's just meant sanctions democracy intervention that's just meant casualties you know uh, with afghanistan and, and iraq together there's you know estimated 100,000 to a million people it gets to a point where the death toll is so high that you have to question how many of these people are actually radicals how many of them were there were ready to strap on something and blow you up. How many of them were just normal everyday people that would be here if they were still alive, if they lived in this country? It gets to a point where you just can't justify things anymore. With the amount of wealth that the Western uh, governments have that where companies have more uh, revenue and have more profit and more money than whole countries, there's no more excuses anymore. I mean, Africa is, you know, there's, there's plenty of famine there and you know, historically what we've just seen is them being exploited. you think slavery is over? No, it's still here. It's called corporate outsourcing. There's still people trying to go in with their, you know, interests and take things, oil, all sorts of resources. You know, there's, there's no more excuses anymore. I mean, poverty could have been erased, a thing of the past, but it isn't. It's still here. It's very alive. It's all over Africa. You know, these campaigns, the sympathy campaigns, they haven't done nothing. In fact, the charity that you probably have given are probably there to help the Western governments, unfortunately, even with your own good intentions. So what I want to say is, even though their Somalia itself is, you know, it's torn and there's, you know, many clans and many castes that in war they come together. But I can hope that in the future that there won't be war and there'll be unity without war, that they can put their differences aside and there won't be any intervention because the last thing a starving child needs is a bullet. Thanks.